Stay tuned and let's build the Marvel Legends Armadillo build a figure. Pow and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at it's Dan Who. And remember, you can now hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Quite simply, show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. Today, we have came to the end of yet another Marvel Legends wave. And this time around, it is the last Builder Figure wave of 2021. So I've been looking forward to this one. It is, of course, the Spider-Man No Way Home wave, AKA the Armadillo Builder Figure wave. And in front of me today, we have all of the pieces you will need to build the Armadillo Builder Figure. So to do that, you will need to buy six of the seven figures in that wave. So let's recap. You you do not need the integrated suit Spider-Man. He has no Builder figure piece. You do need the black and gold Spider-Man. Doctor Strange. J. Jonah Jameson. Miles Morales. Morlan. And Shriek. You buy those six of those seven figures and you, like me, will have all of the pieces you will need to buy the Armadillo Builder figure. Now, this guy looks like a big guy. He looks like a fun figure. Looking forward to this. I'm always terrible at building these on camera. This back piece is a separate bit of plastic. Plugs into the back there nicely. That shouldn't be a problem. Arms are usually no problem, to be fair. Uh, but my attic is pretty cold where I film my review. So the joints do get a little bit stiff there. There's that. Let's see if we can get the head on without behind the camera magic strength. So there you go. There's that. So we're nearly there. Now we just need to put the legs on. I need to heat them up and then I'll put them on. So yeah, I'll be back. And I'm back. And here we have the armadillo all built up, who is looking very nice, I must admit. Yeah, I knew I'd like this guy and I really do. I like all his sort of armor plating like the armadillo. The only thing we're missing now is that if he actually rolled up into a ball, uh, that would be fun. But still, I'd clearly still pose him like this, even if he did. So let's uh, have to check out the height real quick. So here's my tape measure. As a builder figure, you would expect him to be about eight inches, and he seems to be exactly that, up to eight inches. Um, and yeah, he's a quite a wide figure as well, to be fair. Look at the sort of uh, width on him there, about five, five and a bit inches in width. So he's broad, he's a big boy uh, with his big shoulders, uh, but you can still get a nice bit of articulation on him as well. Some nice paint apps, some nice detail, and with like some sort of chinks in all of the armor. Um, and yeah, this guy looks very impressive. So I do want to take a closer look. So let's do that now. Starting up top, I like the facial expression, as you would expect for a villain. Gritted teeth, whited out eyes, very angry, prone, ready to attack. And then he has that sort of armadillo plating, which sort of creates a helmet over his head. And it sort of adds shadows uh, and a bit of dimensions to the face as well with the sort of creases uh, in, the, in the face scope. But yeah, that sort of armadillo helmet, if you will, sort of all around. And again, even the textures up here at top are really nice. And throughout the whole sort of armadillo plating, you get this sort of uh, bubble, bubbly sort of uh, texture, this bubbly sort of risen feel, uh, which you can actually see in the sculpt as well, which is really nice. And that's a contrast to the smoothness of the sort of tan skin as well. So some nice differences in the textures. Spin it around on the back and you can see that sort of armor plate and continued all the way down the back. And remember this top piece is a separate piece of plastic, so it doesn't hinder the articulation underneath, but it sort of sits there seamlessly. So you get that armadillo pattern. As I said, in the comics, you can actually roll up into a ball. Obviously you can't get the builder figure to do that, but that's what it would look like, obviously all of this in a big round ball effect uh, but there is a bit of sunburn if you would at the top it's a bit more orangey up here orangey brown and it fades down to more just a sort of brownish tone down here which is a nice contrast to the tan of actual the skin as well so all this is like an armadillo armor but he is he, i think the character did actually take some sort of a uh, serum he's not a mutant or any sort he's like a science experiment he sort of got these sort of abilities that way uh so he's not a mutant i don't believe i think so, so you get his powers the same way spider-man did spider-man's not technically a mutant he got bit by a spider this guy didn't get bit by a radioactive raccoon but he definitely had some sort of experiment on him to turn him into this sort of armadillo um, but uh, yeah, this guy looking good. So let me zoom out a little bit so we can see what else is going on. So as I said, you've got the tan sort of uh, gradient here of a darker tone, lighter for the chest. Uh, but again, nice muscles, nice sort of veins and texture. And then moving on to the arms, you can see that same sort of tan under the arms. And then again, the plating all the way down, single jointed elbows. And he's got a really nice sort of hand 
with uh, these nice claws, if you will. And the chip, there are like chips and scratches on his uh, claws and both hands are unique. They're not the same, just reversed. Uh, so there are some little chips and uh, whatnot in there, but we don't get any interchangeable hands. That's what we get, which I'm fine with. Grabby hands like that. As I said, single jointed elbow. Shoulders will go up, but as you move the shoulder up, it's gonna push that sort of separate piece of plastic up. So it sort of breaks up the figure, but it still works. You can still pose it like that. But as I said, it looks better when it's sort of right, uh, resting over the shoulder and sort of makes it more flush along the side. So yeah, be wary of that, but it's not an issue. At least the arms still go up. As I said, he has got a bit of a crunch as well, uh, which is pretty good as you would expect for an armadillo. Can't roll into a ball though, but still pretty good. Uh, and then down here onto the legs, same sort of uh, plating, same sort of orangey effect that's here up on the top as well, and then back down to the brown. So there are different shades within the actual armor. And then the feet, he does have an ankle pivot and rocker, but it does get hindered moving up because of the armor plating on the feet. Uh, but it is a single joint. And uh, as I said, it's still, it's build a figure quality, like to be fair, like legs still go out pretty far like that. Legs will go up, like it's build a figure, uh, sort of articulation. It's what a Marvel Legends person would expect with a builder figure. It's pretty good. When you bend the knees though, obviously it does break up the armor with the tan. That could have been better if that was a brown, so it's sort of fitting better. It's because up here, you can actually see for the joint, the actual like the actual uh, joint there has got sculpted detail in there. So it doesn't matter how you bend it, you can still see the design and the pattern of the arm. Not so much on the back though, if you spin it around, you can see it's got the tan color for the joint. Again, if that was brown, that would definitely look better uh, as you're articulating. I don't think it would break up the design too much, but still, they're, they're minor nitpicks, just looking at something to uh, pick out. Other than that though, I think it's a great range. It's what you would expect for a Marvel Legend Builder figure. As I said, if you take this off uh, and give them sort of a naked armadillo look, you can get obviously a lot more range out of it. Um, but of course, he needs his armor on, he's an armadillo. And again, that just plugs into the back, sits over his shoulders. And uh, yeah, this guy looking very nice. Let's jump into some comparisons. And I originally thought that Armadillo was a Spider-Man villain. I just assumed he was part of the Spider-Man Rose Gallery. And he has fought Spider-Man on occasion, but that isn't where he debuted. He has fought other characters. So I'll get into that in a second. But first, here we have Armadillo compared to two different Spider-Mans. Of course, the retro Spider-Man and then the pizza Spider-Man. He's not the original pizza Spider-Man, but it's on that pizza Spider-Man body. Two Spider-Men. The internet tells me that he actually fought Captain America before he fought Spidey. So here we have Armadillo compared to two different Marvel Legends versions of Captain America. We've got the Onslaught Wave version here, and then we've got the 80th Anniversary. Two still great versions of Captain America in figure form. But there is one more Captain America that he has fought more recently in the comics as well. So let me uh, move this 80th version out of the way and bring in... Falcon Cap because he's fought him in the comics in more recent time as well. Uh, so yeah, there are multiple shots you can be doing with your Armadillo Builder figure when it comes to Cap or Spidey. Moving into some more bigger characters, here we have the Fantastic Four's Thing, who he's also encountered within the comics. And you can see the Thing is a great big figure, but next to the Armadillo, he's just not as broad and thick. So uh, yeah, this will be a good fight. And for our Builder Figure comparison, here we have the Armadillo Builder Figure compared to Ursa Major and Sasquatch. Three great Marvel Legends Builder Figure. All scale really well together. And I think maybe Sasquatch is the tallest or maybe Ursa Major's ears. Either way, they all scale really nicely together. All big, chunky Builder Figures. Definitely ones you don't want to miss out on. And of course, here we have the Armadillo Builder Figure compared to the rest of the figures in this Spider-Man No Way Home wave, which includes Strange, Shriek, the two Spider-Man, Morlan, Miles Morales and J. Jonah Jameson. Overall, a very solid wave. I buy and collect both MCU figures and comic figures. So a wave like this with a mix of the two genuinely doesn't bother me as I'm gonna buy them all anyway. But I understand how comic collectors don't like having to buy MCU figures to build a comic builder figure, but the same could work in reverse. So again, you can't please everyone, but Again, I can't, I can't sympathize as I love them all. I appreciate them all. I love adding new characters to the display. I love upgrading other characters. And that's exactly what we can do here with this wave. We have upgrades and new characters and new versions of characters we've never seen before. And again, I'm a little bit sentimental at the minute because I love that Spider-Man No Way Home movie. So I will ramble a lot more about this wave on my channel membership exclusive recap and ranking video. I've been doing that for all of the Builder Figure Marvel Legends waves this year where I basically recap 
cap and then rank them from one to eight. So if you want to know my ranking of this wave and all the other Marvel Legends waves this year, then what are you waiting for? Hit that join button. Not only do you get to come on live streams with me and talk toys, but again, exclusive videos, fun stuff. So go and check that out, hit the join button and you'll hear me rank these. I'm very curious where I'm gonna rank them. I haven't decided, um, but it'll be interesting all the same. But still, this wave is great. And last but of course not least, here we have the Armadillo Builder figure compared to Captain Britain and Worthy, how fire Hank. <coughs> so final thoughts on this Marvel Legends Armadillo Builder figure. Honestly, this is a very impressive figure. It's a character you didn't even know was on Hasbro's radar. And to be completely honest, it's a character we didn't even know we needed in our collections. But from panel to plastic, you have to admit, this looks really nice. Hasbro do these sort of animal hybrid characters really well. And uh, again, this is a really nice mold and unique sculpt for the character that I don't know where they're going to get a lot of reuse from, especially for those armadillo sort of armor plating. The article articulation is decent especially for a builder figure as well a little bit lackluster on the feet but you can still get him in some very nice poses and again he can fit in different spots in the display whether it's with Captain America Spider-Man the Avengers put him where you want he will look good that is for sure and uh, yeah he's a character that I'm glad we've now got in figure form like I'm very happy we've got it uh, because it wasn't on top of my wish list but it's one of them where it's like why wasn't it look it's obviously going to make a great toy and it has it looks really good so you let me know what you think in the comments below as always, I've still got to do my top 10 builder figures of 2021. So where will this guy land? How good is Armadillo? You let me know what you think in the comments below. All that good stuff. But we want to see the rest of the figures in this wave. As I said, there is a playlist. Go and check out the videos tab. Hundreds of Marvel Legends reviews. But most importantly, make sure you don't miss a video. And please, please, please hit that subscribe button. Much, much appreciate. You can also hit that join button and become a channel member as well. Either show some love or join the members club. Much, much appreciated. I'm on Instagram, it's Dan Who, and I'm on Twitter as well. Tweet me, Dan Who Reviews. And until then, people, my name is Dan W, and I will, of course, see you on the next one.